At this crucial point in China's reform and opening up, Deng Xiaoping once again demonstrated that he possessed the political courage and wisdom needed to guide China along the right path. Between January the 18th and February the 21st, 1992, he visited Wuchang, Shenzhen, Zhuhai, and Shanghai. During his trip, he made a series of highly important speeches. Do not think you have lost. Do not think that Marxism is at its end and that it is doomed to fail and is no longer relevant. It's not true. He pointed out that the fundamental difference between socialism and capitalism isn't whether or not the government has control over the market. A capitalist market isn't free from government intervention, and a planned economy market is never fully regulated. Both planning and the free market mechanism are merely economic tools. <laughs> Deng was 87 years old by this time, yet he was constantly on the road, inspiring others with his speeches. He provided a scientific summary of the basic path and practices the country had been following since the reform and opening up began. He provided answers to many key questions that had long been troubling Chinese society. His comments, based on the principles of emancipating the mind and seeking truth from facts, were a declaration that projected China's reform and opening up into a new era and once again placed China onto the fast track of development. On February the 28th, 1992, the CPC Central Committee published Deng Xiaoping's key speeches from his trip to southern China. The aim was for the whole country to learn from them. The East heralds the arrival of spring. Deng Xiaoping's speeches in southern China were like a strong breeze from the East, clearing away the fog that was clouding people's thinking. They ushered in a beautiful new spring in the course of China's reform and opening up.